as I said, one hard part of keeping up with these energy work theorems is the negative signs. So let's ask the question, can you have negative work? Yes, you can because delta K, the change in kinetic energy, can be negative just not K. Right? But kinetic energy is always positive or zero. But of course, you can have a change in kinetic energy. So to help us think about this one, let's say a mass um, at V collides with a spring. And uh, thinks about, let's think about what happens. What is the deflection, the maximum deflection? OK, so we can draw that real quick. Let's see. So we're going to think about it uh, this way. We'll have an x-axis like that. Here's a wall that the spring is attached to. And here is its natural resting position at 0 of the x-axis. The mass is going to come flying in like this at velocity v. So you can imagine what's going to happen is the spring will push, and it'll bring the mass to a stop. And that's the question is, how far does it go in to bring the mass to a stop? If you have a head for conservation of energy, and you've done these before, you know that you just set 1 half mv equals, set 1 half mv squared equals to 1 half k deflection squared, and you're done. But let's think about it carefully in terms of systems and external and internal and positive and negative, and see if we can do it in, in careful detail. To do it in careful detail, we have to define the system. In this case, the system will just be the mass. All right, so the system is the mass. Therefore, the force of the spring is external. So if we set it up that way, let's see if everything makes sense according to the uh, work kinetic energy theorem. So external work equals delta K, the change in kinetic energy. So what would be the external work in this case? Well, it is going to be the integral of F dot dr, or the, the force dotted with the displacement. So as this thing pushes into the spring, the force is negative x. Right? So the force is minus kx. And that is times the displacement is in the positive x direction, right, dx, for the integral. Okay. I didn't do the full vector part, right? But if we thought of the force as a vector this way and the displacement as a vector that way, they're opposite directions. That's why it comes out with a negative sign. So minus kx dx is that integral. And we're going to integrate from 0 to, let's just call it big D, the displacement. 0 to D. That's how far it gets. Okay. So that's one side. The other side is delta K. That must be the kinetic energy minus the kinetic energy initial, final minus initial, of the system. Right, the system being just the mass. The mass is kinetic energy. All right, well, let's do our integral. This is minus 1 half Kx squared, evaluated from 0 to big D. And this is, let's think about it. It started out, uh, the final kinetic energy is 0. We're figuring out where, how far it deflects before it stops. So that's 0. And then minus the initial kinetic energy is what it had when it first hit the spring. And that's just 1 half mv squared. All right. So when we evaluate our limits here, this is minus 1 half k d squared. Minus 1 half k d squared equals minus 1 half um, uh, mv squared. Oops. All right. And you can see the minuses become pluses. And you can see it is just that simple idea. Oh, just take the kinetic energy and equate it to the energy that uh, gets dumped into the spring. But here we've done it, I'd say, a little more carefully. Right? And we thought carefully about our system. Everything makes sense. But notice the work was negative. Right? You do negative work 
when you push on something, but it moves against the push. Right? Before I did positive work when I pushed the mass, because I pushed along the direction that it moved. Here the spring is catching, right? and the spring is doing negative work. And you do negative work because you have a lowering and negative in your change in kinetic energy. The thing lost kinetic energy. So the energy or the work kinetic energy theorem part makes sense. I guess we should finish this. The one has go away, and this comes over here. And V uh, becomes, oh no, I'm sorry, XD is what we're solving for. The D, the displacement, becomes um, the square root of M over K times V to finish it. So there's the answer. I can also show you negative work by pushing the cart. So you won't believe how good I am at this. So I'm going to have the cart come, and it's going to come, and I'm going to use my finger to apply negative work. I'm going to push on it. I'm going to push this way. The cart is going to displace this way. I'm going to bring it exactly to zero. Practical effects.